I just want to apologize up front. Scott and I did not wait to eat we our meal. We couldn't wait any longer. We're at Baja Grill in downtown Benton today, and the food is just oh so good. It is so good. But the reason we really came here was because we kept hearing story after story about the amazing people behind the food. And then we learned just how good the food is, too. So come along for the ride because we have a lot to tell you about. Let's, Let's eat, eat it up. up. Uh, it's a Mexicali eatery and margarita bar. Um, we focus on fresh ingredients and smoking our meats in-house. It's just kind of like a fresh twist to Mexican. We just kind of put our own little spin on it to make it a little unique. My husband actually started the food truck here in Benton on Military Road and had the food truck for about two and a half years before we opened the first restaurant. Yeah, we cook a lot at home and so it's, that's how all this is kind of just snowballed. We're uh, avid cookers. Um, cook, cookers? <laughs> is that a word? Cooks? <laughs> we make everything from homemade, so it's amazing. And we taste everything when we make it. It's made every morning, so it's just amazing. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> Heather and Craig are amazing. They care about their employees. They care about their customers. They're just, they're amazing people. Craig was raised by a single mom, and we both grew up not having a lot. We've had multiple staff who really struggled with transportation, um, and so if it's someone who's been with us for a while, like we've bought cars for people. And then recently, Craig went to Louisiana in the middle of the night. We um, bought a bunch of generators here and gas. We didn't realize how many of our customers had family in the area that he went to, so they would give us an address of a family member that they hadn't been able to get in touch with. He would go and check on each one of those, give them a generator, give them gas, check their food, and then um, report back to me and I could tell the customer, you know, that they were okay. You know, I spent a lot of my years as a server, I was a single mom waiting tables, and so I think about that with my staff. Or if anybody's struggling with, you know, their rent or whatever, we always make sure people are taken care of. I don't want anybody working here as many hours as everybody works and still struggling to make ends meet. Truly, like once a week I come and I get the same thing, so I'm excited to try some new stuff. Scott, this honey chipotle burrito. I don't think I've ever been this excited for an eat it up dish. They ain't playing around. You know what's amazing to me? Is the mm. honey blending with the smoked flavor of the mm -hmm. meat. They smoke the, the meat here. Um, almost 20 hours. Oh, wow. It's a piece of art. They filled those tacos to the brim. The reds and the greens and the yellows. They also have a really creative bar, so if you're looking for an adult beverage, uh, they make some incredible margaritas. Best tacos around Arkansas, best outdoor dining, best happy hour. You want me to keep going? Best cheese dip around Arkansas, best gluten-free, best vegetarian and vegan. I guess I should keep eating it to confirm those awards. I appreciate your commitment. <laughs> Before you eat it, just you just do this enough, you get a little workout. Didn't sign up for that. <laughs> Me either. You've probably heard of Tacos Godoy, this delicious food truck serving up authentic Mexico City food all over the city. But, Scott, it's not just the food truck anymore. Hey, let's check it out. It's a brick and mortar, but not necessarily one in the traditional sense. What is traditional are the recipes passed from generation to generation. And in fact, we've got generations of family in there right now cooking up authentic food straight mm. from Mexico City. I'm hungry. You ready to roll? Let's eat it up. Let's go. Yeah, I was raised in Mexico City, and when we moved to Mexico, my mom, my sisters, and my dad and I, we were selling basically food on the corner. Once we moved here, I always wanted to have that restaurant. Three years ago, finally, the dream came through. So we started in 2019 with the uh, first truck to bring to Little Rock, just like really the taste of Mexico City, which is a little bit different that we can find here. People are asking me all the time, why you don't have lettuce or tomatoes, you know? I really wanted to do a traditional Mexican taco, and I call it a gourmet taco because in Mexico, most of the tacos are small. Our concept is actually in the fresh corn tortilla, it's about five, six inches. My mom, my dad, uh, my sisters, my niece, and then it's my cousin and his wife, they're always there with me as well. So it's kind of like a family affair, you know, that we do. Every recipe that we use is my mother's. That's basically her creation. What's your favorite dish? Or all of them. <laughs> Good answer. I think all of them is going to be our favorite. We're following her lead. Tell me what makes your recipe so good. It's patient and love. 
patience and love. The bigger you get it, the bigger it's going to be. And I like that. <laughs> oh, you aren't just going to give it to me. You're going to make me work for it. Okay. Here we go. One. Hashtag one. The food just keeps coming. I don't know how we're going to eat all this. That has so much flavor, mm. and it's just slapping me in the face. The pork, the pineapple, both of us love pineapple. The perfect combination. So I'm so excited. You know, sometimes you're like, man, maybe I have to sacrifice to get vegetarian. What are you sacrificing? Because I don't think this looks so. amazing. Fablado peppers, onions, sour cream, and cheese. It's pretty basic, but it, it looks, looks darn good. I just it's delicious. thought that I liked Mexican food. Oh. Now I, I know. know. Eat more tacos. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Get ah! your hands off my taco. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> I feel like we're seeing something secret right now. Oh, no, yeah. Like we are getting, oh, look at that. Yeah. Yep, we're in a market, but not just any yeah. market, a specialty market, but get this. It's actually home to one of Sherwood's newest and hottest restaurants. And we're talking authentic yep. Mexican food. And after living in the Rio Grande Valley for two mm -hmm. years, Taco but given how much people have been raving about this place recently, I'm willing to taco chance on it. That's a little cheesy. They got that on the menu too. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's, Let's eat, eat it up. up. Yeah, we come here at least three times a week, four times a week up here. And eat you just came bur from somewhere? Down in the Rio Grande Valley. So you know what you're talking about. Oh yeah. Okay. They're real nice sized burritos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't find a good burrito nowhere around. Nowhere. Yeah. I've been everywhere. <laughs> Mercado El Valle, it's a specialty grocery store in which we have all types of products. We got the meat from Central America, South America, Mexico, and a restaurant with home cooked food with the home recipes from generations back where you can find freshness. We have dishes from Oaxaca, from Yucatan, from all over the Republic of Mexico. From the north to the center to the south, I'm honored to be able to do that. We are from uh, Guadalajara, Mexico. We've been living in this country for 25 years now. Uh, Sherwood is my home. It's where we had all the opportunities. We just want to make sure when someone walks into the store, they feel as if they're at home. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. I'm learning a lot, and I'm learning that you got to work quickly, and so it doesn't burn like mine do at home. So we're, we're getting better. If people say, hey, so teach me how to do the tortillas. Yes. We'll teach you, we'll show you which bag to get from the masa to the recipe to the contraption to do the tortillas. Super neat. Hey. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to have to try the cactus. Okay, perfect. That's such a, a crazy thing. It is, and it's uh, in a red sauce. That is you... it spicy? No, it's not no? spicy. No, okay. Yeah. I'm kind of a wuss. <laughs> yeah. You got they, some thumbs they... over there? <laughs> yeah, we do. We okay. actually do. Yeah. Let's sign me up. <laughs> okay, are we doing this on three? Oh, wow. Okay. Three. Mm. Cactus flavor with the eggs and the steak. Perfect fusion. Yeah. He loves his customers so much that they request sometimes special ingredients from different countries. And he gets it. Yeah. Oh, um. <laughs> A little spicy. A little spicy? You need some We're drinks? I need the drink. Okay. Oh my gosh, my gums are tingling. Oh, wow. Oh. Two tacos and one burrito. <laughs> you gotta say it in Spanish, though. Dos tacos y. You got it, you got it. <laughs> So this week's Eat It Up is a little bit different, but it's all because you asked for it. We're gonna go plant-based. But we assure you, this is something for everyone. This local chef has an incredible story of using food as medicine, but having a lot of fun at the same time. She has some major street cred too. She just won a competition on the Food Network. Consider me in, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's eat it up. Vito and Beer is a culinary wellness company named after my grandparents. Vito and Vera Damiani. They are the ones that inspired me with food and they taught me that food was more than sustenance. I am a plant-based chef because I believe that adding plants to your diet, no matter how small, it can change your life. I still am an occupational therapist and began to study food as medicine. So when I started learning that, I knew I had to become a chef. It's not about the 1970 salad. I'm a plant-based person and that's all I eat. I would die. 
So I want the things that you want. I want the same texture. I want to get that warm and fuzzy feeling that you do when you eat chili that reminds you of your grandma. I can deliver all that and you don't walk away saying, where's the meat? You're eating healthy Scott, finally. Finally. <laughs> that was so good. A refreshing little snack. Mm -hmm. Acidity, the, the yeah. summertime cucumber-ish kind of refreshment. All right, Karen, may I serve you some salad? Oh, please do. Okay, all right, I want to get that chip there. Mm -hmm. so the chips are so good. It's just such a quick snack on the go. You know where this was four days ago? I bet in the ground. You're right. That was in my belly. <laughs> What I decided was I can do meals to go, and that's how we started, and we're still doing that. We deliver Sunday morning, generally 9 to 11. You can go to Drug Emporium. If you want the frozen product, you can go to Green Corner Store. If you don't, my grandparents would be just so thrilled that I'm honoring them and to know that they made a difference. What do you say we have a little bit of chili? Ooh, chili on a cold yeah, morning so. in Arkansas. Bring it on. Chef, it's one of my favorite chilies I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is loaded with flavor. And it feels like your grandmother's chili. Yes. Just days ago, pulled things out of the ground, and now we're eating them on our plate. I don't think it gets much more fresh than that. I would like to say to Vito and Vera. To Vito yes. and Vera. Like my heart. Yeah. Vera. Cheers. Vito. Salute. I love it. Amanda, do you like tacos? Yes. Nachos? Oh yeah. What about burrito bowls? Love them. Well, I think we are in the right spot. That's right. We're here at Rock City Taco, right in the heart of the River Market. And this place is pretty new, so it's very exciting down here. And as you mentioned, they got a lot. They got anything you could possibly want. Yeah. Are you ready to eat it up? Oh, I was born ready, Scott. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's eat it up. Look what I got us. Yay! A little bit of punch. Okay, I'm excited. Cheers. Cheers. Good, that hits the spot. On a warm day like this. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. That this is, is like so the good. perfect summer drink. So we came up with the concept for Rock City Taco from Taco Tuesday out of Rock City Kitchen. And then we kind of kept adding and building on to it. So I think what makes us unique is first things you can build your own, you can tailor it to your taste. We have our own sauces that we make in house and we're also smoking all the meat at Rock City Kitchens. And we also have the traditional seasoned ground beef taco meat as well. Uh, you can be creative as you want to be. Is that some of that special seasoning yes, that you guys? Yes, that's special seasoning. He won't even tell me what goes in. Really? Yeah, it's in the vault, so you know. <laughs> I grew up um, being in the kitchen with my mother and my grandmother and then seeing the type of reaction that they get when it's good and it just brightens the day up when they get a nice meal. I think we got to get Joe to bring us some more tacos. <laughs> That's right. All Let's right. go ahead and start with these first. Okay, which one are you going into first? I'm going with the Sunrise Tacos. They just recently have started mm. serving breakfast tacos here. Ooh. Kind of a new little thing, right? Pretty I love cool. that. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with uh, the classic pulled pork taco here. There's a lot of flavor even without the sauce. Breakfast tacos. I think my heart and my desire is to go in for the brisket nachos. Oh, good, solid choice. Yeah, this could easily be two meals. That's like multiple burritos in one bowl right here. Okay, now that mm. is fantastic. So good. So you're a catfish snob, I'm a queso snob, cheese dip, whatever you want to call it. This is really good. More cheese dip I eat. The happier I get. I know. That should that's, be a motivational you're a poster. That's, you're a scientist. That's I science, am a right? scientist. That is science. <laughs> okay, so are you a big sour cream fan? I am. Me too. Well, how are we going to divvy this up? Like this. You know what? Somehow <laughs> I knew I was setting myself up for that. 